Hey, the ancients spoke out and said, now add to your faith goodness. Huh. Seen any of that recently? You know, goodness seems pretty vanilla, doesn't it? I mean, especially for today's world where people are kind of persuaded that, you know, you have to yell to be heard and, and kind of push to get through or, or protest to achieve uh, change. Now, I get it. In light of some of the current events, I mean, we're, we're not in a good spot. But really, really, how did we get here? Are you feeling any of this? Is this really where we want to be? You know, let's pause and pivot. I think we'd all benefit from a, a goodness inventory. Indeed, maybe this is what we've been letting slide over generations. And it's time to really restock the goodness shelf. Hey, here's a starting point. And, and, and it's, I think, some common ground. Let's agree that there is a good, full stop, exclamation point, period. You know, and, and this good is not based upon public opinion polls. No, goodness is a God-prompted moral alignment with a lens that's looking to who he is and the life that we're designed to live. We've been suffering under a bit of a goodness famine. Why? Because we've left God out of the way we view the world. You know, we need this absolute good. And that's an absolute statement. You know, we don't get to write it up by committee nor vote on it in, in November election. It's external to us, but it's internal for us. It's for the survival of the human race. It, it, and it's a fall-flavored life. Second, there is a good, and it stands to reason that, well, this is how we're to align our life. And it's not pushy, it, it, it's patient with constraint. You know, one of the ancient poems said, God is good and his love endures forever. Wow, just think of what our world would be like if we embrace that. If I get out of bed in the morning and say, that's how I'm going to live. Goodness is how we're designed to live. It's, it's God helps us do this, the more we get to know him and trust, him, trust his goodness. It's, it's like water for the trees. It's like electricity for the lamp. It's, it's God's goodness is for us. And I got to give you a heads up, though. This isn't popular. Yeah, you won't get on the varsity team because of it. And, and uh, perhaps public office, you won't be voted in. And of course, corporate America, promotions aren't based upon goodness. But pause and pivot. Add to your faith goodness. Do it anyway. Vanilla? I don't think so. It's better.